What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and coming to you with uh, One Hive Labs next Slay My Base uh, episode. Uh, that means I'm here with my good friend Katic. How you doing, buddy? Hey, guys. Yeah. Good to be back. Always good to have you, man. Uh, I know everyone uh, everyone appreciates uh, all the feedback you give, uh, this detailed feedback. And one of the things that we were talking about when setting this episode up was, you know, the last episode, um, you know, we were talking about having, you know, some some good quality bases, right? So from, from some quality clans, some some good submissions. I would call them like A, maybe even A plus kind of bases. Um, but however, I know a lot of people that watch the series um, are are not quite there yet. They're more like at a B minus B level. You know, you're halfway there, just looking for those fine details. So that's what we kind of decided to do. We we picked some bases that had a few little flaws. Um, definitely some issues that I think you know I made note of beforehand. That if they happen to happen in the attacks, uh, I'm going to bring up when we go over the base again. Um, and just I don't know. I just think a lot of people can can benefit from seeing exactly what we're talking about. Because say a spring trap is in a poor location, well. It would be so nice if, say, Kadok was attacking the base that I built and ran right over that spring trap and it didn't trigger properly. Well, then I have a visual to show you, right? So, anyways, enough blabbing. Let's check this out. We got our plans set and ready to rock. Hopping on over to the Twidla number one. So, this is the base that Kadok will be attacking. Yes, it's your base. And mm. by the way, just to recap for uh, about the previous part, um, these bases aren't bad. I mean, they will no. hold attacks. Um, it's just the, the fine details that will actually make the difference between uh, a high caliber uh, base and uh, a good one, because yes. they're still good. Absolutely. But let, let's hop into the to this base. Yep. Um, first thing I look at is possible DGB spots. Um, when I was looking at this base, I only see two verifiable ones. I'm drawing. This is the obvious one, and the other one is over here. And that's just because this path thing is okay. It's not the best, but it should be good enough. And there's a storage here, there's a storage here. So there's a dead zone uh, correctly placed on both sides. So that's the last DGP spot I would expect in this base. Um, there are some other possibilities like over here, but this has a very bad trigger. So um, I'm not expecting it anywhere else than those two spots but because they're a bit too obvious. I mean. This is one of the things you see a lot in bases, is uh, basically a triangle with a queen and two DGPs. Yep. And yeah, usually exactly they're halfway that. through the base and next to air defenses. So and I mean, rightfully so, perfectly. right? Because you, you, as a general rule, you want your DGPs as far away from your queen as is, but um, it, in turn, it kind of makes them predictable. Yep. So in this case, um, I was like, yeah, this has dead zone, or at least... Um, a neutral zone in the core and even though I haven't done those attacks at all in the past like never honestly um, this is perfect for a golem avalanche so I decided why not <laughs> I'm going to golem avalanche this base just because I can um, entry around this angle uh, there are some shenanigans to take out this funnel uh, section um, and then just enter around the base jump jump and jump over there just because uh, you will see later on um, why exactly but uh, yeah I can connect the whole base with just a few jumps and take out all of the threats except for one with three jumps and that leaves me a last spell which is a rage and I think I can smash the base that way yep yep um, so like in short my, my plan is to have two golems at the start one golem extra uh, at the six o'clock section, because there's a lot of point defenses there, uh, going to wall break uh, him in and join them up towards this expo. Have a, a last fourth golem uh, down there at nine o'clock, break him in as well. And this jump connects uh, the, the first three golems, except for this archer tower. I mean, it connects everything except for that one, so that it needs to have a hawk there. I'm kind of expecting a Tesla there, which could be an issue. Um, but it should pop uh, on the golem, which uh, likely gives me a free uh, one for one trade with the, the one hawk I'm already sending in uh, from this angle. Um, and this last jump that I place at the top is just to let this one golem out again. And I, instead of placing it there, because there's no threats here, I can just place a few hogs once the Ar Archer Tower is distracted, and that should be fine. So. Yeah. 
that's basically the plan. Even uh, a wizard at the end. I, I mean, I yeah, don't know how many hogs you. Yep. I don't know how many hogs you got brewed here, but I only have four hogs, so that's not too many. Yeah. But hey, it's a golem have launch, so it shouldn't need too much. <laughs> and because I have a, a rage spell, I'm expecting to to burst through um, this section quite quickly. And um, the, uh, most of the threat is actually in this section, like in the in the bottom f uh, four to six o'clock section. Yeah. So I think I think I can take out most of the threats at the start, which is awesome. And then, uh, yeah. That's Interesting. Every time I throw uh, an avalanche in a recap, it's just so it's a slow, slow, patient attack. That's really yeah. All and I that's can. what I need to watch out for because I don't know any of those timings. I will likely do them wrong. But whatever, it's uh, it's fun to try, and this is a good moment to try it. For sure. All right, let's hop on over to the other one. Yes, let's do it. I was still thinking about the Teslas, but I think I show... Well, I'm just going to draw them in quickly to show where okay, I expect yeah, them. Yeah. This is kind of an obvious spot. This is a kind of an obvious spot. If there's a Tesla farm, I would be expecting it over here, just because of the open spaces, or in this section. There could be something... Um, and if you've watched my bases closely, this could be a very good spot for a Tesla farm as well. So the T's where I drew them is where I expect the Teslas to be. Um, Whenever, the, oh, it's yeah. not on lines. Whenever I see a sweeper doing something along the lines of yeah. that, I get I get a little worried of that. That's section. that's a very likely outcome, which would might be disastrous for my queen, but we will see. I uh, think with the golems in there, I mean, yeah. The golem will walk past, you know? It, it will, will walk to the it mortar, will. so uh, my queen will be exposed in that area, but um, it's worst, a level 30 queen, so she can take a beating. Yeah, and worst comes to worst, you pop that ability, she'll still yeah, clear that exactly. compartment and continue on. Yep, yeah, so yeah. let's pop out your base. Okay. So, um, I had a, I was initially planning something different for this base, um, and then we were just kind of chatting about some of the things as, as I was breaking the base down and, and talking about things. And uh, in the theme, I guess, as if Kadic is doing an attack he's never done, I think I'm also going to do an attack that I have never done. Um, so I, my idea here, uh, well, at, at first let me just talk about real quick. Initially, um, this whole section kind of down here um, is quite a lot of value with not a lot to get in there. And I was thinking of just sort of charging a queen in there, getting the CC instantly, right? Like... I don't even know if she'd be tanking the point defense yet as the CC would come out. So um, I thought I could get a lot of value out of that. Overall, um, you know, not too many crazy DGB spots. Definitely was something going on in there. I feel because this is clearly sort of an anti-HGHB air defense placement, I would be surprised if they put Teslas or, you know, definitely not. Well, I guess there technically could be a DGB right there. Um, it's actually uh, quite the possibility now, now that I see. I didn't see that at first. I was just thinking Teslas, but generally when you when you you're trying to set that air defense there so that it doesn't get targeted by bowlers. Um, so I definitely don't think there's any Teslas in there. So that kind of leaves some interesting spots for Teslas. You know, I could quite easily see a couple being in there behind the queen. Uh, maybe even maybe even one tucked in there. I feel like there's something fishy going on between the air defense and um, cannon there. <clears throat> I think there, I, if I had to guess, there's a Tesla right there. So those are my kind of areas of concern. Now, what the, the, the attack we decided with was <laughs> um, kind of interesting because one of the things that we noticed was this jump right here. Now, what that does is it allows access to this compartment which is huge if you if i can funnel bowlers in there they're going to get big value now especially if i put another jump spell kind of something like that definitely want to connect the queen chamber but um i basically am going to walk through the whole meat and potatoes in the base and end up in the queen chamber now on the way i'm going to get uh you know one two three and hopefully four air defense out of the deal. Um, now, uh, I won't have to worry about the CC because I'm going to bring a few barbs. It's a very, very, very offset clan castle. So I think I got three barbs just in case there's some uh, 
shenanigans and i like how you use that word cat <laughs> going on in the clan castle so just a few barbs i'm going to lure it out to this like little convenient builder's hut up there with an archer go ahead and drop a golem and a golem right obviously a couple wizards to kill that clan castle uh i got a poison for them as well uh then get another wizard down make sure that funnel goes on that side few wizards here they end up with i think i have seven wizards all day so i'm going to try and keep one in the bag for cleanup um, get the funnel going get that jump spell down that i just talked about uh drop my third golem yes i'm going stoned with this uh my king and my queen and my bowlers so that's a whole hell of a lot going into that core because i'm going to drop a rage spell and a heal spell sorry i should be changing colors for you guys but whatever and then a and then another jump spell on the other side like that. Now, with all of what I just mentioned, three golems, seven wizards, some lure troops, um, and all those spells, I'm still left with 20 balloons, or 19 <laughs> balloons, I think. 20 balloons, really? <laughs> yeah, I think I cut a one balloon. I think it's 19, because I cut one to bring an extra barb and wizard. But um, So basically, I'm going to start What do looting. you need 20 balloons for, though? <laughs> I don't know, man because <laughs> we're gonna go two uh, we're gonna go like probably three over on this side and then really the heavy part's gonna be at, <laughs> at nine o'clock that i have a haste spell for um so a haste is gonna go down right there uh so i'm gonna go really heavy from nine try and hang on to maybe three four balloons just for this uh these backside couple defenses down near the queen chamber and i think i might have it um whiz for cleanup down on that town hall at six as well and uh yeah we'll see how she goes Awesome. I like it. <laughs> 90 balloons. You were talking about 60 before. And I, I was mm -hmm. already thinking like, hmm, that's a lot of balloons. Well, Where, are you gonna put them? Where are you going to leave them? But I think even even if, you know, it takes a while for this air defense to go down, I think with the haste at 9 and the heavy amount of balloons I'm bringing, there's only one wizard tower in there. It's going to go down very quickly. So that air defense is, I don't think is going to be able to kill the balloons in time. I was opting, because if you think about it, I have 19 balloons, so I could bring a Lava yeah. Hound there. At the same time, uh, my question would still be, like, with the Teslas, um, they could still mess you up, because you don't have anything tanking for them. That is true. So maybe I go, maybe I go 13 balloons and a Lava Hound. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, well, 7, 8, 9. Well, no, I like 19, 19 balloons, balloons, just because it's awesome. Just because, 13. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to give this a go. I think with the haste spell, because that sweeper there is going to be dead. That's all under all that garble I yep. wrote in the core. But that sweeper will be dead. So with the haste spell, I mean, my only concern would be if there was like Tesla and Tesla that didn't get taken down. And they yanked a lot of my balloons up first, away from the air defense. But even still, like, everything is just Your kill squad likely still gets it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So let's give that a go. I like it. Yeah, man. Let's call this the stoned the old, episode. I the mean, old, the stoned. Uh... What would we call that? Stone, a stoned go bolo. <laughs> yep. Yeah, stone go bolo. Nice. Golems is the name of the game. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's just pause right here before we uh, hop on over to the game. We will be right back with our live attacks. Okay, so we are back, we are scouted, and we are ready to go. As you can see, we got uh, the bases up on screen. Uh, anything, any last words there, Kadic? <laughs> well, um, rip. <laughs> uh, okay. I, I don't know if it's the base or me, but yeah. most likely yeah. me. Well, something's going rip, we'll just say that. <laughs> yeah. um, so you're going first, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, beautiful. Let's, uh, anytime, man. I'm legit scared because I've never done this type of attack before. The so, in... the plan was to drop a golem here. Whoa, that's not retargeting. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a, a good start, which is okay. That's not it's bad. Right. You can adapt. So, the king is already engaged, which is fine. Quickly drop those there. Still drop the queen down. Don't forget that. King behind to help out, poison on the bowlers, an extra wizard to help out. So they're taking a lot of damage, honestly. Oh, that was a misclick. Ouch, that hurts. I wanted to just rage. So, second golem that goes down, wall break early, place the jump. Oh, this is what I'm doing wrong. Hmm, I have a wall break fail, first of all, and I forgot my bowlers. 
Oh yeah. no. What do you so have in your CC? This is going all kinds of wrong. Holy so rip me. Oh, there no. we go. Don't do uh, F launches when you you have no experience. <laughs> if you had, if you had your queen ability, then no. No, I still. You needed the bowlers. You needed the I bowlers need the in that rage. No, yeah. Did. Yeah. Oh. Everything else. Was and good. I had a fatal misclick there as well. Yeah. That, was, you, that the, really did suck. She didn't get really anything out of the deal too, because the CC troops were there too. So. Yep. Oof. That bomb just wrecked those bowlers too. Yeah, it was four singles at the end uh, with the Tesla. Yeah, that was different than expected. It's weird. Which is weird, good. Weird little DGB there. Yeah. That was one of the things it I was hoping. Just placed the, the jump for a style points. Not that it's going to do anything. I don't believe the pathing works properly on that DGB if you come from the other way. Um, that was one of the things I thought I was hoping we might get to see. <laughs> until we decided to do an avalanche. Well, I, I might just uh, do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, on the yeah. Next attack. So we this is a film. Yeah. I'll just back out. Yeah, let's That's just okay. back out. Save some time. What are you going to expect? First time. It was like the first time I did HGHB. <laughs> yeah. I thought, I thought, I'm like, oh, this looks easy. I can just spam bowlers and healers. No, no, not exactly. <laughs> does it, does it work from every angle? Okay, Good we'll luck. hop right into mine. Thank you. Jump in. in. All right. That's what I'm doing here. <clears throat> I am surprised that my golem did not retarget. Yeah, that is very, very strange. All right, going in live. Make sure that is zoomed out. Sure is. All right. <clears throat> A little lure going. I don't think I need that one, but fine. That's all. Nice. Not too much threats, but could quite easily have been Valks, and you never know how that's going to go. Yeah, this is not a good representative uh, CC, but hey. It is what it is. Okay, go on. Oh, why wouldn't you go to the Wiz Tower corner? It's such BS. Let's go on in. And we're going to get that jump down. We're going to go queen. Let's go on. Bowlers. Anything in there? No, don't walk bowlers. No, and the queen. Oh, they're uh, bowlers. They're stupid. Yep, they sure are. They sure are. Oh, you stupid troll Tesla. And come on, get that air defense. Oh, goodness. Your king is doing work. Sure is. I really delayed him there. The bow that one bowler is a hero. Huh. One bowler took out two air defenses on his own. What a hero. It's hilarious. But I didn't get the other one because the queen walked. So this isn't yep. gonna happen. Sucks. Boom boom. Boo earns. Well, you cleared most of the base. More than I did, at least. <laughs> hmm. How do I make that funnel better for them? I don't know if that's possible. I'm not sure. Yeah. I think uh, you should kill the CC halfway through instead of luring it. Yeah. I think that's uh, a major point, actually. Oh well. 
All right. Well, let's uh, regroup here and uh, come back with uh, some breakdowns and cleanup attack. All right, guys. So we are back now with the um, you know trap view of these bases. Uh, so this first one, obviously, a few surprises in here for you, Cat. Um, yeah, there were. You know, obviously, your first time doing an avalanche. <laughs> Uh, so that has a <laughs> that huge piece of it. Well. Um, good, good idea, good fundamental overall. Just there was a lot. I think there was just there was just too much action in there, and then the golems kind of end up passing yeah. out. There's a couple of mistakes I made there. Um, first of all, my king was tanking for the uh, top expo. Um, second of all, this jump in the end should have been placed more towards the south, so my king wouldn't actually jump towards the core. I didn't drop my boulders. Um, this small bomb, a very nice placement there, uh, killed my wall breakers. Um, I pressed my queen ability at a random moment. Yeah, yeah it was rough. <laughs> it was a very good attack. <laughs> I think it had a shot if you I, had dropped the bowlers. I honestly think it had a good shot, but uh, these Teslas are very nasty for this entry that I took. Yeah. So if I were to do it again with uh, an avalanche, I think I would just come at the queen. Even though this funnel is very hard uh, to do, but I think a baby dragon, for example, has enough damage to, to help clear this town hall. A baby dragon and then on the town hall. Uh, yeah, just rage know. early and then uh, jump, jump, jump. And this is not much for the back end. So yeah. I think it's still doable, but needs a different entry and a different approach. And um, it needs someone attacking that actually knows what he's doing. That can help <laughs> as well. Yeah. So about the base. And there's a couple of things uh, I think really do need to be pointed out. This queen, uh, that's the first thing, uh, I mean the second thing I actually look at when I'm attacking a base. Um, the, her range is clearly outside. So it's very tempting to me to have a queen walk in of some sort uh, walking past your queen. Uh, I think I can even get away with placing her here with uh, healers like this. Wizard over there to funnel this off to make sure she goes the right way. And then I think this air defense will never even come in range of my healers. And she will just walk past, she will leave this expo up, but that's okay. I mean, you could even break her in. I mean, that's that's not a big deal. Walk her down the road. Um, yeah. yeah, and then she will actually take out the, the expo. Because after she has taken out the CC, I mean, you need something to lure uh, her with, of course. Uh, lure to her, um, but once she's in, she's she's done her job, because the queen is dead, the CC is dead, and uh, some of the threat is dead. So that leaves you open to come in wherever you want, and then a cold-blooded golem in here, for example, would uh, from this compartment, you, you can already tell you there's a lot of stuff you can take out. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking about this. Um, the DGB placement is uh, unpredictable, in my opinion. Yeah, I was. Uh, that was one of the reasons I had mentioned about um, wanting to see if it acts. Because I don't think you come in from here. I mean, it's really oh, hard to tricky. say. That's so tricky. This spring trap, for example, for sure doesn't work. No, there was a few. Um, that, I, I mean, mean, like this one. If I were to go brain dead on this base, I would just HHB from this angle, uh, clear this, and... Um, have a jump, or no, the, just a rage here, uh, rage here, and that would mean the whole base is dead at that point because all of the threat is dead. I mean, only this expo would be attacking my giants with only one point defense at a time afterwards. Um, so I need two spells to clear the base. And the why, you may ask, that's because I can drop one hog there, one hog here. Same goes for this angle. I mean, there's no spring traps uh, stopping my hogs. I mean, this one does, this this spring trap does stop them, but essentially I can just drop one hawk each, and it's gone. Yeah. So in and a war attack, I would most likely just HGHB from this angle. Sort of the same reasoning why you had picked Avalanche, right? That you can quite yeah. easily keep the giants going in a clockwise rotation. You know, you know where they're going to go because of all of this neut these neutral buildings. Yeah. So, I mean, that was in the last war recap. I saw you uh, include my HHB attack there. It, it had a very similar um, neutral core. Yeah. And that neutral core makes the HHB so predictable that, that my thought process there was if I can get everything inside, I know where everything's going to go. There's no 
surprises anymore, and it it should be GG at that point. Yeah. And this has a, it, this has a similar feeling to it. So um, let's see spring traps. Uh, so this one is not going to do anything for you unless you get a f get very lucky. Essentially, this one will most likely work uh, properly. Um, the other ones will work. This giant bomb is very close to the queen. I mean, I'm not sure what its purpose is because if you surgical in hogs from this angle, once they reach this cannon, all of the threat or or at least all of the ground threats are already gone. So uh, the giant bomb likely kills them, but uh, they've done their job. And even point. still, I mean, you're not necessarily forcing a super early heal. No. Oh. So I mean. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to. I guess you know what. Maybe part of what he's thinking is because he faked the. He did fake you out on those DGs. Yeah, he did fake me out. Um, so someone's might not burn a heal there because you're not going to want heal going into a DGB. But I don't know. But then again, you know you're expecting to suicide those hogs anyway. Yeah. And if there's so. a giant bomb here, then there's not a DGB here. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, other than that, uh, the small bombs are placed very well, I think. Yeah, I as think we saw. here <laughs> up top, that you could use one. Because this is the place I'm going to abuse for my second hit. I'm not going to HCHB it, as promised. But I will uh, try to uh, let a golem walk past there. Um, because this wizard tower can actually re reach a golem on that uh, mortar. So I have a free wall break from the top. So that's just a, a thought. I, I I mean that small bomb would then still uh, trigger. Get triggered, but yeah. But um, still you a know, deterrent. It, it's it's a very likely entry point. So if someone's I trying to charge in there, there's yeah. no sweepers facing that section. If someone knows the Tesla farms in there, I mean, you could technically just charge right into that. Yeah, I, I see about three entry points uh, in this base. The first is from the top. Second is from two o'clock. Third is from five o'clock. Yeah. So those three entries are the ones you want to protect. I mean, this one did kill one of my wall breakers in my own raid, but uh, I mean, I tried this uh, once again afterwards, and I missed my king's ability. I messed it up once again. I'm, I mean, I'm just not a skilled uh, avalanche attacker. Uh, I got to be honest there. And um, in the end, I saw that this would still have uh, eaten my golems up and killed me the attack. So I did need a different plan than I originally had. Yep. Which just goes to show, which you know, that's that's a pretty decent base setup then, because yep. if it's you surprising. if the, the, you look the, at it afterwards and are like, okay, uh, it needs a complete different entry, then yep. you did your job. But then again, um, it clear, this is a, still a f fairly clear entry with uh, just a double jump. Uh, somehow, I mean, like this, even doesn't matter too much. That does clear the whole base um, uh, with the anchor. heel spell. Anchor a couple mortars, or anchor on the yeah. mortars, yeah. Hm. And with the support hogs, I mean, as you can see, I, I'm clearing one, two, three spring traps. I'm clearing one, two, three giant bombs with some support at the bottom at least. Uh, you most likely would still queen walk it, so um, that means it, most of this. I mean, I would queen walk uh, that section if I were to attack it then, uh, and that's the whole base then. So. I don't see a lot of viable spring traps for this entry. So, and as well, I mean, with the HB, HGHB coming from the top, imagine a spring trap being here, and especially this one, like uh, this one between Archer Tower and Air Defense. Mm -hmm. That will spring up three giants as well. Yeah. It's perfectly in the middle. So, right in front of the I Tesla don't farm. see any reason to not place it there. I agree. <clears throat> so those are a couple of things. Um, these two skeleton traps, if you know they're there and you're hogging it anyway, um, there's a DGB here. So, um, yeah, if everything goes well, those hogs die, which makes the skeletons a bit useless. And if I know they're there, I can just poison them regardless. So I would split them up. Um, for example, place it at the top to, to, uh, to thwart uh, an entry there or at the bottom here to, to have some hogs. You got to know, especially when you're planning for to try and defend a cleanup, that you got to know that they're going to do something to take care of that. Yep. So you know that probably a kill squad or a queen walk or something is going to trigger that and it's just going to have no effect. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the things as well. I mean, if I were to clean this up um, and I 
I had to do an old style attack, I would most likely still funnel this section somehow. I mean, um, I, on a clean up attack, I, I could just uh, invest two hogs here. I don't think they're targetable by anything else than just the Archer Tower, so that would kill the Archer Tower and give me a free funnel with a, with a wizard. Um, with, on the army camp, then drop my queen here, walk her down. Uh, once this uh, wizard tower is down, I can actually wall break here because it's, everything should be distracted at that point. Maybe not that expo, but uh, invest a giant just because. And then my queen is in and just have a one rage and that takes out like a lot of the base. Yeah, a huge chunk. Huge chunk. So there's a couple of ways to, to abuse this. Um, I like the wizards uh, close together, except for this one, they can still reach. Uh, the sweeper actually, uh, yeah, I mean, it protects the wizard tower, so against the loon it does very well. Except for, once again, the top entry. The top entry is the way to go with the gold blooded loon as well, so Absolutely. it would take out a lot of the Teslas and the queen and the CC and an air defense. So right I think gold blooded that. loon is actually a very good option as well. You get that rotation going around yep. the base like that. Again, all, all, a lot of this is all because of this guy right here, right? I mean, yep. it, with every attack, you can just fairly easily predict the pathing. And I know that Tesla kind of throws it a bit, but No, if it really. goes in here, for example, it will still go here. If, yeah. the, if it's oh, yeah. open at least for I sure mean, like that's way too far away to, to draw the only here. way it would go in if, if it's already popped up which it won't do with troops from this compartment at least and if it's jumped in to and it's popped up then maybe the golem goes there but yeah no so overall i think it's a good base um i mean you stopped me i tripled the uh, war bell uh, freshly tunnel 10 yeah. with uh only the extra traps, basically. The nine nine point nine point one five. Yeah, <laughs> nine point oh five. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, with the same attack uh, comp, with the same comp. So it's not a weak strategy at all. No, definitely not. So good job there. You hold. You held a good attack, and yep. in the next attack, just to to recap it quickly, uh, I'm going to send in the golem, wall break in, rage up my king and queen. I'm doing one of my favorite attacks, which is a dragon attack, a one minion to trigger that bomb. Uh, one, two, to actually clear it, and um, some wizards, rage them in, take out this air defense, take out that air defense, hopefully, I don't know, um, and then come with the dragons from this angle be uh, to oh. take over from the kill squad and get... uh, send in a lava hound here. Are you jumping there, sorry? Nope. You're nope. not? Okay. No, nope. I'm just raging it up, using yep. the abilities as needed, and... Uh, hoping my dragons will take over as much as possible because um, as you can see a lot of the point defenses are in in um, this small circle yeah so if I take that out um, I only have these two threats uh, I can zap quake uh, this air defense that's what I'm going to do um, and this is a threat and this is a threat and the, the last two remaining air defenses of course so uh, with the max hound, um, because there's no black bombs here, and the blo uh, these bombs are clumped up, that's another good thing for me because I'm dragoning, dragoning it. Um, yeah, I think I have a very good shot at tripling it. Okay. So once again, I would go for the HGHB, but I think this is way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> We were just in our last video talking about the viability of drags at Town Hall 9, right? So They're amazing. I'd... They're my go-to at the moment. It really is. All right. So, here you go, the next base. Yeah, so um, this this uh, I didn't even see, obviously, but that immediately when you showed it to me, I was like, oh, <laughs> interesting. Um this Tesla did screw me up a little bit, actually, too. It did not. It, it did made it so my balloons over there fizzled out before uh, they did anything. And there was this Tesla as well. I mean, both of those kind of made your loons fizzle out. Yeah. Um, so that hurt. To go heavy, and I was like, yeah, but the, there could be uh, a couple of Teslas there in my mind. Yeah. Uh, sure I is. Good. I didn't say it, but yeah. but uh, you still got wrecked there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the biggest biggest failures I saw when I watched the replay was um, the Wiz kind of chased that king, right? I dropped the golem kind of over here. Yeah. Uh, so this king was a, a very nice distraction. It really was. I ended. Up, I did get the army camp and this. Um, so 
but it didn't matter because all this was alive and it, it yanked my bowlers around. So that was huge. Yeah. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try the similar attack. Um, I guess we can just quickly, well, let's, let's break down the base uh, real quick. Um, so the queen I like. is here, fairly exposed. Um, once again, you can easily queen walk this for a lot of value, especially now that, that you've seen it. I mean, you could just have a, a double wizard here, maybe something to take out the mortar, and have a queen walk uh, this way and up. Uh, he does likely stay out of range of the air defense, and even if uh, by that time it likely doesn't do too much anymore, because you will have entered with the kill squad, uh, that leaves you basically with this section of the base that you need to take out, and mm -hmm. it's GG. So that's what, in my opinion, one of the biggest weaknesses of this base. Um, that a, queen, a very high value queen walk uh, gets, yeah, essentially wrecks the base. Um, then again, th this setup is deadly to HGHB. Sure is. Yeah, I like so that. Th that's the thought process uh, behind it, I believe. You can absolutely see it, right? You're like, yeah. oh, I'll just two finger drop my giants right here, and we're going to go straight into that queen. Well, no, not. you're not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, uh, once again, the CGB, I think it works. Uh, it's a bit tricky, but I think it works. The spring trap next to that Tesla likely isn't... Yeah, it's it's going to spring some stuff up, I think, but not too much. I think it can be placed better. Um, there's a spring trap in here as well, and that one for sure isn't going to do much. Um, so just play some in between defenses like this one. That's a good one. Th these two, those are good ones. I mean, why not have a spring trap over here, for example? Mm -hmm. um, the court spring trap is interesting, it's nice, uh, it works well. Um, yeah, focus on those spring traps. Um, are there any other other things? I think a, a jump over here might be too valuable still. I mean, that's what we're abusing, essentially. And yeah. it would still take out this air defense and this sweeper and air defense. Um, I think uh, if you were to go for a very clean attack, you could go uh, shattered with a, a top entry, a, sa a fairly similar a funnel, uh, just jump over here, and then have the double jump with Valks and just the heroes. And with some backhand hooks, have a heal over here, and something for over here basically i think then you have the base as well yeah yep 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 i liked uh so i i think that one jump in the core is too valuable i uh, the two dead zones are interesting they're good but i don't think this protects anything and this one protects a lot more but once again i think those walls uh, can be used better over here for example to stop that jump uh anything else Black bombs are spread a little bit better better than on mine. Uh, disadvantage is that if you get a golem or a queen from this angle in, you take out this air defense and the uh, black mines. So yeah. that makes it dragonable. Yeah, I think you might almost be better off kind of putting them up somewhere in there. Um, yeah. It's hard to say. Because this is the most likely to be zap quaked. So yes. Yeah, in that top. 12 o'clock for sure. Um... Yeah, very interesting. I think I think remember what you're talking about the the old triangle effect there. I mean, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yep. Um, however, because of the it's hidden with that Tesla, I definitely did not see it. I this one is fairly invisible. That's a nice yeah, one. I assume there might be a core one there and then two singles because you obviously wouldn't have two GB, uh, DGBs. I did mention that one there. I was doubtful that it was there. However, it was. <laughs> so and that's why I shut up. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I figured if you were going to have it there, you would have one there and then maybe a single over on this side and a single up here. Um, yeah, but even then, again, then, these defenses do somewhat give away that there shouldn't should not be a DGB. A DGB there. there, yeah, that's right, that's right. So there's only one obvious spot uh, for a DGB, yeah. and that's this one, and this one is a, a well hidden one, mm -hmm. and I think it works uh, properly. Knew, and I knew I was going air too, so I didn't wasn't as super yeah, concerned exactly. with the bombs, anyways. Um, so, so good base overall. I think the spring traps need some work. Um, like usual, I, think I mean, it, it could be a li little bit more uh, imaginative with uh, the DGBs still, because it, it does feel somewhat uh, predictable. 
Uh, the Teslas are uh, very unpredictable, though, so that's uh, a very nice job there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, th that surprised me. I thought I thought I was going to drop enough because this one didn't pop right away, but the one did. So I dropped yeah. my three loons right on, and I'm like, oh, that'll get it and just get, you know nope. what I'm saying? Nope, the other one popped, and I, my loons didn't make it, which wouldn't have mattered because the bowlers walked, and that air defense was still up anyways. Um, so... I think I think realistically, if I was actually cleaning this up with a war attack, I'd use some form of queen walk with Gobaho. Yeah. Um. Ooh, what are you circling that for? Because that red bomb is not doing anything right now. Really? Better protect the testos. Yeah, I'm trying to look where I would place that. Um, yeah, I think it's in between here. Why not? Yeah. I mean, a lava is going to come over, but for the first hit, I mean, you already were surprised by these Teslas, let alone if a red bomb pops. Even, uh, even maybe doubling up there, I don't know. Because then at least, and then if you put yeah, it... Yeah, for the second hit, if this you doubled it up there, work. you'd have to make, or just, double, you know what I'm saying, or put it right beside it. Then what you're making the attacker do is for, uh, judge, uh, you know, make a decision. If he wants this, for, he'd have to either bring two lava hounds, or if he only brought one, it's either trigger the red bombs or tank the Teslas, right? Yeah, like you don't get both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. So uh, overall, I think a uh, good base, a uh, couple of small uh, exploits that do make it vulnerable. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, um, I'm going. Are you to changing your attack? Slightly. I. You know what? Like I was just saying, if this was a war cleanup, I would definitely be leaning towards a queen walk um, with a cold blooded golem. And Valks, but out of spite, I think, because I really want this attack to work. <laughs> I'm going to try it a little bit differently. I'm going to get that quick lure out, but this time, you know, I'll still drop that archer to start them running up there, but I'm going to drop that golem a lot earlier and try and keep it in tighter so it goes. I don't know if you noticed, maybe I dropped it like here, but it walked straight down to that wall instead of to the, to the wizard. Yep. I thought that was kind of strange, so I'm going to try and drop it maybe up on this side, and I think it will, like right beside that... Uh, Thing yeah, or uh, mine. Um, gonna just poison those bowlers. No big deal. Uh, I'm also gonna keep the second golem in a lot tighter because I don't really need it. That is it, that whiz tower doesn't really matter. I'm gonna drop uh, one wizard. I'm gonna try and delay them a touch so the king follows in so that so they don't lock onto the king right away. Um, get that same jump down and really the only difference I took less loons now. Um, and, and, a, and a lava hound. Yep. Now my goal is to also drop the bowlers right where I was talking about with that giant. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is also drop one hog on this archer tower here, while the initial golem's tanking. Um, because if that archer tower goes down, I'm pretty sure that should fix my funneling issues. Um, so hopefully, if I drop the golems on the other side of that pump with my queen. Uh, they should, I hope, take that jump to the Dark Elixir storage there. Uh, so that's the goal. Um, I think that's going to get my uh, my bowlers in and really do a lot better work to this section. And then I'm going to drop a Lava Hound in, basically right on top of Mr. Uh, Tesla there. And go one, two, three, four. You know, typical same-ish loon deployment um, with that same haste. And I think that'll get me a lot better value. I will lose that Lava Hound quickly. But it's gonna it's gonna pop the Teslas. It's gonna it's gonna get things ready for that section. Um, plus, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. And if your bowlers go in like last time, that one bowler got two air defenses, uh, as expected with the the bounce on the expo. Yeah. So you might actually kill that air defense uh, still. He might, and uh, then that really just leaves me with this section. It's really all about the queen getting that queen in there, not having her walk around. I think with that uh, <laughs> arch tower down. That does make a bit of a difference. Yeah, I'll say. I will say she ended up on a wall over there. It was just horrible. So, Let's but overall, it. overall good base. Liked it. Yep. I just loading in now. I am a hundred percent ready. I have issued the challenge. Caddick. All right. You want me to go first? You sure. went first last time. All right. Let's make sure this queen goes in this time. Right. 
20 18. looks good and we're going in boom out okay so oh son of a bitch I don't have that barb whoops oh well that's fine so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and drop that early man in go right in there see now it passed properly come on kinger a lot of damage incoming yep. Queen. that first jump spell King. Ooh. Go on. that barely missed that's oh, crazy. I forgot the hog on that. No. No. Ay, ay, ay. Your golems were slightly misplaced, and that's yeah. going to cost you. No. The elephants did go down. Oh, and I misplaced the jump? You Are misplaced you serious? the jump. Oh, my God. Are you serious? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, what do we do now is the question. Can we recover this? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm afraid not. No, sir, I don't think so. Oh, I did the same thing. Hey, at least Love Hunt uh, locks onto <laughs> your king. Yeah. That ain't gonna do much. I think with all of the defenses distracted there, yeah, it would have had a good sh shot at it. Ugh. The oh, funnel horrible. is very hard there, but that with the jump, horrible. I think uh, you would have had it. Honestly. I cannot believe I misplaced that jump. That was freaking horrible. Awful. Oh well. Well, that's done for. Boo, Wiser. Damn. <laughs> that was awful. I can't believe I did that. Hey, let's fill together then, okay? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Boo. Let's go, Cad. Knock I out of the park, buddy. All right. Bring uh, the seven dragons in. Okay. Aye, aye. I am going in. I can't believe I misplaced that job. It's horrible. So my golem actually passed. Correctly, red bomb pops one, two, one, two, three, one wall break to test. There it goes, one, two. Last wizard to make sure everything goes in properly. King is down. I will need to rage around now. Poison enemy queen. Oh, that's actually dumb to do. Don't do that. Now my queen is going to walk around as well. Oops. Ay ay ay. Yeah. That sucks. Um, I accidentally pressed her ability as well, and I'm is that quaking the wrong elephants? Ooh. No oh, oh, man, today. we're on fire today, buddy. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm so good at this game, man. You, you don't even want to know. This is Catechin Wiser's "How Not to Clean Up a Base" episode. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> I'm even letting letting a dragon die for nothing. Oh man! <laughs> oh, you can blame me. It was my my voodoo curse I have. <laughs> well, as you can see, if my uh, queen would have walked in, or even if I hadn't uh, zapped quite the wrong out of fence, I think you might still have a shot right now. Because yeah, right. I, I think I would have been good because I would have been able to uh, let in my. Uh, I mean, send in the extra balloons and kill that air defense. And now I have to go through a lot of high, high HP. Uh, yeah, the problem is get there. the so, three drags at six are going to, like, wrap down and around, yeah. I think. Oh, yeah, you only got one to that expo. If you had two more and there's seconds. there's two uh, black mines there anyway, so oh, this that's right. horribly wrong. That's right. Go little blue. one. And now it's going to retarget. Yay. Uh, well, this is a fail. <laughs> I even well, called it. That's so bad. Yeah, oh, well. That is crazy. 
Crazy, crazy. <laughs> well, that's how to not to clean up bases, guys. But again, right? Like it's it just shows. I was actually just talking about this in one of my last recaps. I think it was the Invicta recap because there were so many different Town Hall Nine attacks. And one of the things I was talking about was, although as a base builder, definitely like Town Hall Nine is definitely not like it used to be, right? Like it's it's oh. tough, tough to defend. However, it's not just a given. No base is just a given. Like, I mean, the closest thing you can get to that is HGHP. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you still have to be spot on with uh, with a lot of your deployment and a lot of a lot of your planning. Otherwise, you're not going to come away with the three star. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. Um, as you can see in these decks that we're doing, uh, execution fails will happen, and it's a matter of um, kind of forcing your hand there. Like yeah. uh, force them to make mistakes by placing those small bombs in a nice spot or having an unexpected Tesla like uh, the last couple of bases have. So yeah, yeah. Oh well, well we can't win them all, I guess. <laughs> no, but it's a good lesson. This is Absolutely. really a good lesson because Great. if you can see like a, a tough funnel, I mean uh, both of our attacks uh, are queen wa queens walked. Yeah. I mean that's <laughs> poor planning on the one hand, Fail. but on the other hand, it's also good base building. Fail jump, fail jump, please. <laughs> like, yeah, come on. still. It happens, though, right? And it happens, and especially, like, another thing you mentioned in the last episode was friendly challenges, uh, the pressure's not there. Like, when you're in a tough war, and a ranged war, and, and it, you know, you, there's only a few town on nine attacks left, and you need to nail that cleanup to clean up the nines for your team, the pressure's on, man. And those, yep. those mistakes are more predominant. Like, absolutely. So... Oh, well, sorry we couldn't deliver you guys a tree star, but uh, I think <laughs> I think we'll wrap this one up. Anything else you want to add? No, man. It's right. uh, it's good to fill once because yeah. it shows that base defending is still possible. It is, absolutely. So anyhow, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you guys bag that next tree star. Till then, we're out. <laughs>